Good afternoon, Poggy Sports. Welcome to another VDC Battle Stadium Series 1 video, bringing you a MetaCham team, but not just any MetaCham team. I know there was a MetaCham team that was going around a couple of weeks back where, you know, you'd skill swap pure power onto something else that would do that much more pure power. But this is a little bit different. It's kind of a little bit laid back. It's a MetaCham team that just has a pure power MetaCham on it with Trick Room, Close Combat, Cycle Cut to do damage and also have Fake Out as another option. So they're just using MetaCham as like a legitimate Pokemon that, you know, could be a meta call here. Now, this team is from Nora Bowman, also known as Bubs, who did go top 32, 8 and 2 record in Swiss at the San Diego Regional. So clearly a good player is bringing MetaCham to a very populated tournament maybe there's something here we can unpack a little bit right so with the team we have the meta cham i already explained the move sets what it does goes fast hits hard we have the scope lens focus energy hydragon which is honestly very strong in my opinion and i think is super underutilized but every time that i've used it and i've gotten it set up it's so terrifying Continuing on with the team, we do have the King Gambit, which I'm excited for because King Gambit inside of Trick Room, outside of Trick Room, doesn't really matter, always does well. This team can kind of go both modes, does have the Trick Room essence in it with the Mimikyu, with the King Gambit, with the Amongus, but also does have that fast mode with the Hydreigon and with the Gyarados. Speaking of Gyarados, Safety Goggles Gyarados is interesting to me as well. Now, this is just a straight up Terra Blast flying. So you get the two time stab on the flying Terra Blast, especially after Dragon Dance being at plus one. That's going to do an incredible amount of damage. And then Mimikyu's here with a life orb, actually. So Mimikyu's actually, it's it looks like it's a trick rumor. It even confused me in the beginning of the video because I said it was one of the trick room Pokemon on this team. But it actually has 172 speed and nothing but offensive moves. The only trick room Pokemon on this team is Metacham. <laughs> would you look at that and then you already know what among us does anyway that's the team that we're going to be running with today if you guys are excited to see metachamp here on the channel go ahead hit the like button down below and subscribe to focus if you haven't done so already i'll also include nora's links down below in the description as well if you want to go ahead and check them out anyway let's go ahead get started with today's video skull villain oranguru oh is that oh i know this team this is the team with all the funny nicknames and i think this one is called karen or something this team looks very familiar. Okay, so they clearly want to go Trick Room here. I've never seen a more Trick Room team in my life. Um, knowing that, I can kind of go ahead with the assumption. Okay, I'm Terra Water. Um, I can kind of go ahead with the assumption that... If I lead Metacham, I could fake out their fake out. And then bring King Gambit to finish off the Oranguru. Or even like, oh, Hydreigon, no. Hydreigon has no dark moves. So yeah, I have to bring the King Gambit in the lead to finish off the, the Oranguru. And then the rest of the game should be relatively simple, hopefully. I think just in case they do get Trick Room up, I should bring the Amoongus, though. Also, Gyarados does wonders for me here. So I think I'm going to go Amoongus, Gyarados in the back. We'll see how this goes. I'm putting a lot on my Metacham right now. I need the Metacham to outspeed their fake out, which it will. I th I'm pretty sure I'll outspeed Harry on my fake out. And then I also need Coattail Man to one shot the Oranguru, which I also think it can do. They go Annihilate Oranguru. Okay, this is going to be a final Gambit thing. The thing is, final Gambit is kind of nerfed a little bit by Sucker Punch, so I will just Sucker Punch there. And in this case, I will trick room their trick room. Because I feel like my back is kind of against the wall. They knew that I had the fake out and they knew that I would outspeed their fake out. So their next option is to be like, okay, hey, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go for my final gambit, knock out whatever's going to stop my trick room and then move on with my life. All right. At least whatever gets final gambit is going to be a lot less damage now. Yeah. I am able to live that, thankfully. And now if the monkey goes for Trick Room, I just Trick Room the Trick Room. Yeah, I went for Trick Room because my Trick Room went first. Ha ha ha! Got him. Nice try, monkey. All right. Now, now we're in a great spot. We Trick Room the Trick Room. We're in a great spot. 
the rest of my team outspeeds the rest of their team. They just knocked out their own Pokemon for free. They're now bringing in a four times weakness to my meta champ. A lot of good things happening right now. All right. I think I'm just going to settle for Kotal Cleave on Oranguru. I'm just going to take a shot at here into King Gambit. If they want to Terra Ghost, they can Terra Ghost. I don't actually remember what the Terrastalize or what the Terra on this King Gambit was. I know mine is water. I just don't know what that one is. But I guess I'll find out the hard way. I still think close combat into that slot is my highest damage output and still my best option. All right, there's my close combat. They did not protect at all. They just accepted death. <laughs> did they forget I was a fighting type? Or maybe they just assumed that was full support. No, I still got close combat though. I still hurt. Big coat out, Cleave. Now into the Oranguru. Not going to be enough to knock out though. Ooh, okay. They just went for Trick Room again. I mean, I am still sashed. But the problem is if they go into Torkoal, yeah. Torkoal is a problematic one. Because I have to take two eruptions now. I have Dark type Amoongus, Flying type Gyarados. Okay, okay. I'm going to sucker the Torkoal. I'm going to attempt to undo Trick Room. The sucker will at least weaken the Torkoal damage a little bit. Oh, they just went for Heat Wave. That's the smart play. The Instruct Heat Wave. It's not over yet. Because I can still go with the Mungus. And the Amoongus can put one of these two to sleep. Or they can miss! Yo, get wrecked! <laughs> uh, I don't know if that mattered mattered, but it definitely did make my life a little easier. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that, 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 yeah. I guess that could always happen, huh? Well, here's a Gyarados now. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, all that's left is just the Terra Blast, this Torkoal. And go for the uh, close combat. Onto the Oranguru. Dude. That that has to be battle canceled, right? I don't think there's anything they can do at this point. I'm going to get this Torkoal so low health, it won't even matter. I probably shouldn't have Terra Flinged. Just in case I'm actually not able to defeat just the Torkoal here. I think I'll be fine. Especially since my Amoongus will now outspeed it. Because we're definitely getting rid of the Oranguru this turn. The Oranguru has like 1 HP and I just went for a close combat. So there's no way Oranguru lives. They have no Terrastalizations left to use either. Do they? Do they Terra? I don't remember if they Terra it actually. Don't think it's going to matter though. All right, Oranguru has gone. That's a big nuisance out of the way. Honestly, if they just went for Eruption, I think they would have gotten me. Maybe not gotten me, but I would have been in a lot worse spot if they just went for Eruption. I guess they were just assuming the Sucker Punch would do a lot more damage than it did. Anyway, Terra Blast into the Torkoal is going to do a pretty decent amount of damage. They still go for the Heat Wave. That's going to knock out my Metacham. Please don't burn my Gyarados. Thanks. All right, all that's left is Amoongus, which should outspeed the Torkoal. I can just put Torkoal to sleep. Terra Blast again. And let's Spore. See how this plays out. But I think it only it's only going to play out in one way. All right, here's the Terra. I'm assuming just Terra Fire, right? Yeah, just Terra Fire. Hey, maybe they should have clicked that a long time ago, right? I, should they not have clicked that like an infinite turn ago? Regardless, that doesn't change the defenses at all. Here's a big Terra Blast into the Torkoal, more than enough to knock it out. GG's! I got a little lucky there, and I, I'm not gonna lie. I got a little lucky there, I, I still don't know if it mattered, because I still think I had the resources to win the game. Just because I got so many free one-shots on their side of the field. Regardless, that was a pretty decent game. Very good showcase of what Metacham can do, or what Metacham is used for on this team. So, I like that. That's a Cryogonal and a Rotom Frost next to Obama Snow.
This team is definitely different. It is definitely different. I'm I'm a hundred percent gonna want my fire hydrogen in this battle, aren't I? Um, in fact, I think I can just quite simply go Metacham Fire Hydra Hi Fire Hydreigon right off the rip, you know? Right away. Bring the Gyarados in the back. Helps me with Intimidates against this team. Also, Flying Terra ain't bad. I don't really have to worry about Trick Room. So I'm I'm leaning towards not bringing Amoongus and not bringing Mimikyu. Also because Mimikyu just doesn't do much to this team. So maybe I just rely on the King Gambit. Give me some free sucker punches in the end game. We'll see how this goes. I still haven't decided, and it feels like a lot of competitive people haven't decided if Supreme Overlord or Defiant is better on King Gambit. I'm on the fence about it. I play more Defiant just because in my VGC brain, I just remember Defiant being always good. But, you know, it, it was just the better ability on Bisharp. Now we got Supreme Overlord, which ain't too bad. Regardless, we'll see what my opponent wants to bring here against us. Oh, that's a cute one. It's Chansey. All right, Redhead. You got Garchomp and Abomasnow to start things off. Interesting. Hear me out. I think I just like obliterate Garchomp from the game if I can. I'm pretty sure they have no fairies that I can even recall. No fairies. Yeah, they, they, I lose nothing by just fire Terra Draco. I should be able to take anything the Garchomp throws at me. And then one shot it there. The next turn I can go for heat waves or I can go for the focus energy. And just crit through their screens. We'll see. We'll see how this plays out. I just don't want them getting screens up this turn. Fair. It's a very fair turn. They did just see my fire terror too. So they might water terror. They got to be a little bit scared now though. All right. Just in case they do. I close combat. And I go for the Draco. I still go for the Draco here. Because again, like I said before, they have no safe switches for this Draco. So I can at least force the Terra out of the Garchomp. Good. And if I force the Terra out of the Garchomp, that means that I can one-shot their Rock Chomp. Oh, different. Okay. Rock Chomp. Oh, are they Scarfed? They have to be Scarfed. Wow. I didn't think they were scarfed. Oh, we hang on with Metacham and I'm one shot on Hydreigon. Oh, they're scarfed. Should I have known that? I guess since I faked them out turn one, there was no way of knowing. Yikes. Okay, I do still CC them, so they will go down. Um, But I'm not entirely sure that I'm in a great spot here. Even Gyarados can't deal with this. Like, how, how do I deal with this at this point? You know? Is it going to Gyarados, getting the Intimidate, protecting, and hoping that... No, because then I still die to EQ. I'm, I'm just in a bad spot here. They are Life Orb, so this Intimidate will do something to the Garchomp. But the fact that they're Fire Terra is honestly terrifying. It is not a great place right now. I think I'm going to hard swap because they're just going to rock again and I kind of want to preserve a fake out for late game. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what to do here. I could protect. I could go for the uh, Terrible no terrible blast doesn't do anything. I, I could either protect or I could dragon dance or I can waterfall. At this point, I think I just waterfall for the damage. I just want to get it low enough to where I get sucker punch with King Gambit next turn. That's my goal. Whether or not it happens, different story. 
Are they Rock Slide again? Oh, but Gyarados is going to avoid. That's so huge. That is so big. I won't even lie to you guys. That is... That is huge. That is a very huge turn for me. Because I definitely would have lost Gyarados this turn had that connected. All right, big waterfall. I'm able to just one shot the chomp. That's really good for me. Okay. Um, and just like that, we're in this again. My next concern is what is the terror type on this Hydreigon? Are they fire or are they steel? Or are they poison? If they're poison or steel, that's okay for my King Gambit. If they're fire, I might lose. This thing is here. All right, that's new to me. Um, Cryvon has like negative two special defense, right? I mean, physical defense. I'm afraid to just throw attacks into it, even though I'm pretty sure it's like choice in some fashion. Like, do I even, does King Gambit care about blizzards? Not really, so I guess I should be focusing down the Hydreigon. Uh, I'll hit it with a waterfall at least just to get some damage going. Okay, they have they have freeze dry. Well, there I go Unfortunate there, but we could always fake out next turn. We'll also see what this hydra. It's heat wave. GG's. I don't think I win with heat wave Ah, it's close wait hear me out. Hold on. I might I might I might find a way through this somehow. I Definitely need a fake out here They expect me to fake out Hydreigon. So what I can do is I could double up expecting the Hydreigon protect. Well, actually, I lose nothing by just double attacking Hydreigon, actually, right? Let's double attack the Hydreigon. It's such an obvious play. Oh my goodness, they let me do it. <laughs> that is huge. The Blizzard is going to definitely knock out my Medicham, but I don't think any Blizzards... I think my King Gambit could take a lot of Blizzards here. The only issue I have is freezing. If I freeze, I lose. That I'm sure of. So we just have to not freeze. Thank goodness, Snow stopped. They could still hit Blizzards, though. Um, do I even bother sucker punching or just iron head here? I think I'm gonna sucker punch just in case You never know I knew there was a sash there anyway. Yeah, okay, so the sucker punch was the right play. There was gonna be a sash there They freeze dry We eat it don't freeze me. Yes. GG's baby. We just have to sucker punch we win. Okay, like I said, back to that rock slide miss. Pretty sure I would have lost if that uh, connected, but hey. I don't want to sound like that guy. But that's what you get for using rock slide. Anyway, on to the final battle. Up against Schmandles. Very interesting team. Gengar is scary. Specifically scary against my team. I don't really have a great way of speed control. My Metacham is my best way of speed control. And Gengar can kind of shut that down. Yeah, their team is a lot faster than mine. I might actually want to set Trick Room here. And go with just like a Trick Room mode right away. I could actually hold a Metacham, maybe. Maybe lead with Mimi. Nah, but I want to get the trick from off. I'm going to go Metacham and Mimi. Try to get the trick from up that way. Bring in my... Hydreigon. I like Hydreigon here, and I think I like King Gambit too. I like them both. Let's bring them both. My, my base concern on this team actually is that Volcarona and that Gengar. Those two are a little bit rough for my team. But nevertheless... If I play this the right way, it should come out on top. Or if my opponent just likes to miss their spread moves like the last two battles, that should come out. We should come out on top too. All right, Gengar Meowskarat is going to lead for my opponent here. 
Now, I could set Trick Room here, or I can just go Absolute Cheese. I think I'm going to go Absolute Cheese right away. I'm going to take this shot here on Meow Scarada because I don't think I'll see another opportunity to knock out a Meow Scarada in this game. So if I can get this fake out here and if I get this play rough off with the life orb, I should be more than nah, I'm sad now. Ah, I got a little greedy, I'm not going to lie. Got a little greedy. We'll see what they decide to do about it. Which means I could have actually trick roomed here and like shadow sneaked. They taunt. Oh, they taunting Mimi though. Okay, so they have no idea. Good. Good to know they have no idea. All right, there's the play rough. Fortunately, nothing's going to come out of it. Um, let's go for the Shadow Snake onto Gengar. If they double my Metacham, I could be in trouble. I think I'll just go into King Gambit. I'm not going to take any chances. I still have the Sash on Metacham. I won't. I don't want to lose that for no reason. They're actually going to heart swap the... Uh, Interesting, because I actually have Water Terra and I can do a lot of damage to this Volcarona. That might be my play. Just go for the Water Terra with the King Gambit, do a lot of damage to Volcarona, they won't see that coming, and then just Shadow Sneak the Gengar again next turn. It's great damage. Alright, now they're seeing I'm Life Orb. Now they might see a little- Oh, thank you! This is why Defiant is nice sometimes. <laughs> thank you for the Defiance. Appreciate ya. Yeah, their, their Volcarona has no chance now. Especially once I whip out the Water Terra, it's over. All right, so all I'm going to do here is Shadow Sneak again. They're forced to go for Rage Powder, but it's not going to matter because Water Terra. Ha ha ha. I love when things just kind of go my way. <laughs> when I accidentally make some incredible plays. That's the best time on this YouTube channel. All right, time to go for the Terra Water. My opponent's side of the field did not terrestrialize, so that means that they are not going to live this. And I don't see a world in which I lose my King Gambit this turn. All right, here's a Shadow Sneak. They're just going to let their Gengar go down. Fine. Fine by me. Followed by the Water Terra plus one. Oh, no, plus two now, right? Because I only got negative uh, speed. Yeah, they went for Fiery Dance. Yeah, no damage at all. <laughs> you could have that special attack. You're about to lose your life. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Big Terra Blast now onto the Volcarona. Sayonara. There's not a Volcarona on this planet that could live that. Unless maybe Grass Terra Volcarona happened, but. Yeah, they got some things to be worried about now. Mimi shakes off the taunt. They don't know that I don't have Trick Room. But here's my next concern that the what's his face is coming back out the Miascarada. so there's a flower trick in my future what if i just play rough i feel like rotom's gonna try to stop my king gambit at all costs i could always deal with Miascarada later What if I just take this chance? Nah. Play rough sucker punch me out, Scrod, is all that I'm going to do this turn. They, ha they have to stop playing so passive. No, they, they keep playing passive. Okay. That's not a big deal. They now know what I want to do. I I'm assuming I'm just getting willowed or thunderbolted. I'm getting willowed. Okay. That's fine, because my goal here is to break the sash on me out, That's it. Once I break the sash, the play rough will finish it off. Keep in mind, I'm also plus two, so this burn is as if I wasn't burned, essentially. But it was a smart play by my opponent. All right, let's sucker punch. Let's go for what we just were going to do before. They can't avoid it forever. They're going to have to let their Miascarada attack eventually. And I just have to get this Miascarada low enough to where my... What do I have in the back? Hydreigon, right? Okay, good. I thought I brought Gyarados for a second, and that would have been very bad into this Rotom. Alright, they do just go for the flower trick. On to the Mimi, though. Ooh, changing things up. I guess they don't fear the King Gambit now. Which could be a mistake. 
but we'll see. Oh, they're life orb. And volt switch. Okay, but I eat that up. All right, well, now they're volt switching me. I have Hydreigon in the back. I also have Metacham with fake out. And they know I have fake out. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try to confuse them a little bit. I'm gonna bring in Metacham. Assume that the Masquerade is gonna protect. Go for the Trick Room this turn. And Kotal the Rotom. Okay, I did call the Protect. I think I live one more Volt Switch by Rotom if Rotom doesn't decide to attack. Oh, that's fine. That works for me. They essentially just got rid of my pure power is all that means. Listen, you can burn my whole team. I'm still doing that much damage. And now we're in my speed tear, baby. This is my speed tear. Welcome to it. <laughs> Trick room meta champ, man. It's making things happen. And that's making me happy. Like if I can make things happen, that's all I need. All that's left is a close combat into the Ascarada, followed by Kota Cleave into the Rotom. Should be enough to finish off this game, I think. And then worst case scenario, Hydreigon in the back. Oh, they're terrestrializing already. What's it going to be? Meowscarada's terrestrializing. I just got played! The Ghost Terra. That's not great for me. And they sucker punch my Gambit. Hold on, I, I might lose still. It all depends on what Rotom does here. Yikes, I might lose. Hydro Pump and it connects. I had a good play, then I had a bad play. That was my bad play. The Terra Ghost kind of caught me off guard, not gonna lie. Because now they could Sucker Punch me. Alright, hear me out. I go Hydreigon. They could Sucker Punch my Metacham, knock it out. So what I'm gonna do... So I'm going to try to undo the Trick Room. And just Draco Meteor Mascarada. Get it off the game. Get it off the field. Don't want to think about it. Don't want to look at it. Good riddance. Stop protecting in between every turn! Oh my goodness. Did I at least undo Trick Room? No, because they Volt Switch. How many turns left do we have with this Trick Room? This is nonsense, I should say. I might still be able to win. I'm getting a little angry for no reason. Two turns of Trick Room. I think I'm just gonna Draco to be safe. There's a Sucker, it's resisted. Gonna lose some life for, eh, I could have probably gone for Hydro. Not Hydro, uh, Heat Wave. Hydro thankfully does no damage either. Draco's gonna connect, okay. I think I still win. Next turn, I might have to focus energy and then go for the Draco. That's no big deal. Because as we see, the Rotom currently outspeeds me in Trick Room. This, this might be me being, be getting a little greedy, but it might also be me being a little cautious. All right, they're just gonna keep going for Hydro. We're going to eat that. No worries. Focus energy now. Yeah, now is when they have to worry. I could still miss like two Dracos and lose. But let's not think about that. All right, Jericho Meteor now onto the Rotom. <laughs> Draco Meteor now onto the Rotom. Thank you! <laughs> I saw it. I saw it happening. There was a world where I ran my fist into my camera. We defeated Schmandles. Jeez, that was, a, that, that was a lot more stressful than it had to be. Can we all agree? But hey, three wins in today's video. Clearly, this, this is a team. This is a great team. Let's go ahead and get you guys that rental. And here you have the rental code for the Medichan team. Honestly, man, I was super impressed by this team. I, I did not have a single battle in which I, I can honestly say 
I didn't need Metacham here. I brought it because it's the thumbnail of the video. I brought it to every battle because I felt like I needed it. It was a necessary addition to the team. I wanted to stop Trick Room. I wanted to set Trick Room. I wanted to fake out. I think I think Metacham fit a lot of roles on this team. And I'm very surprised by its performance. Now, if you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead, hit like one down below and subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. Also, make sure to check out Nora's stuff in the description as well. And uh, let them know thank you for, for making this team public because it's honestly an absolute blast. And congratulations on your on your San Diego finish as well. It was incredible. Regardless, that's today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like down below. I'm Gather Sports. Have a great night and peace out. Bye-bye.